All right, guys, this is the next scene that we were going to do, that I, I was going to do. And this is the tank filling tank. Uh, this is the simple one. It only uses a timer to fill up the entire tank. So let's go ahead and, and see what it looks like. And, uh, and then later on, I'm going to show you the code. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start filling. I'm going to put it in run mode. But before that, I think we're going to go to the driver. And these are my input and output that I'm using right now. I'm using the timer as an integer. So you got to be careful because if you send an integer from the POC, uh, usually the POC is in, is in time format. So we're going to deal with that later. So let's go ahead and connect to it. And we got the green line, the check mark. So let's start filling. Uh, right now, the volume that I set, I set a volume of 30 gallons right over here. This is a default uh, that I uh, put you know, on this variable. So let's go ahead and see how 30 gallons uh, fills up and uh, how quickly. Ready? Let's go. All right. That uh, 30 gallons, it took about four seconds to do it. So let's go ahead and see the another angle. And that's, you know, the red uh, mark. It's more or less close to 30 gallons. Let's go ahead and see if it repeats. I'm going to do it one more time. Yep, close enough. Let's go do it again. Start it again. Yep. All right, close enough, 30 gallons. Uh, now we are going to, actually, I'm not going to re re uh, reset the scene. I am going to go ahead and, and discharge this volume. So I'm going to go ahead and click on discharge. So you notice the time it took to discharge. So the flow of filling, it's completely different as if you compare it to the flow for, for uh, filling the same volume. So over here, we got this uh, 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 variable over here. It's called HMI gallons. That's what we put, how, how much gallon do we need to uh, fill the tank with? Over here, this is just a, a variable, uh, a number that I figured based on testing. I turned on the valve, uh, that was the fill valve, uh, and I turned it on for five seconds, just to test and see how many gallons would it give me. Actually, he gave me close to a certain amount. That I divided by the number of seconds, and this is the, uh, the variable, the, I mean the number, the set point that I got per gallon. So it's 0.1350. Uh, let me blow it up a little bit. That's how, how long it takes uh, per second to do uh, just one single gallon. Over here, we got this takes care of, of our fill gallon to seconds, while this one, we're going to take care of, uh, this one actually takes care of the empty, the discharge. So the flow rate for the discharge is very different uh, compared to the flow rate for the, uh, for the filling. So let's go ahead and see what happened. I'm going to show you the code for the uh, stepping logic. This is all we need actually for just actuate my fill button. So let's go ahead and, and click on my electric panel. I'm going to turn it on and then move uh, my, my, my uh, cursor actually to the uh, POC code to see how it runs, All right? Ready, let's go, boom. That's it, that's how it runs. Just the step in uh, logic. I fill the valve over here. Um, I'm turn on the uh, my LED right over here. And then I wait just uh, the, the amount of seconds 
that is equivalent to the amount of volume of gallons that I'm uh, dispensing. And then at the end, boom, I just clear everything up, just like before. This is just a simple step in logic. I got for the empty, it will be exactly the same with the exception of the uh, flow rate, which is different over here. I have another button, so I do have another LED and a different valve. Everything else will, be same, will remain the same. Over here on my HMO, HMI, uh, the only thing that I got, uh, that I had uh, some issues with was to find out uh, uh, converting the, uh, the actual gallons. So this number, it's a real value, and then at that real value, I have to convert it because I have to put it right over here for my integer because this is an integer. If you see, uh, this is uh, orange. Down here, it says that orange uh, variables are integer variables. So, uh, luckily, uh, CCW has this beautiful uh, uh, functions. It's called any to time. Actually, if you just, uh, let's just disconnect over here and go to the conversion uh, tab. You see all this function over here, the wonderful. Any to Boolean, so this convert any variable to a Boolean type or any type to a byte type. So I use one of those, I, actually I use this one over here. It's called conversion of any variable to a single integer variable. So that did the trick. So it got my real uh, uh, variable in that type real, and then it converted to a integer a single integer. And that's how I was able to uh, bring it to the HMI uh, to the timer over here. So if you see the timer uh, running, that's where I got that value from. See? Four seconds. So that, that's where the value comes from, right over here. So I got this instruction to convert. Uh, this is a convert to from a time uh, format to an integer format. Well, this one over here uh, converts it from real to a single integer. Actually, not to a time format. From a real to a time, my bad, my bad. And over here is for now, from a time format type to a alias that I put uh, as a single integer, which is my actual uh, variable at, at factory IO. So I had to use this timer because the uh, lag in communication between the protocols, so I can slow down the timer and be able to see uh, the see it uh, changing. That's that's the uh, the only thing I did. Let's go, let's go ahead and do one last test, but this time instead of 30, we're gonna go ahead and let's go let's go online, and we are going to fill up a hundred a hundred gallons instead of 30, we're gonna fill up a hundred gallons and see what we're gonna do the filling and the discharging. So let's go over here, and let's go online with the PLC uh, uh, the PLC simulator. and do the whole thing. All right, right now we are online. Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead. And this value, I'm gonna double click on it. So the variable monitor window comes up and here directly, I can directly uh, change uh, without going uh, offline. I can directly change any value on this specific uh, variable over here. Right now it's 30 gallons. Let's just put 100, let's just try it 100 first. Let's double click on it, double click it. 100, it's a real type, so I gotta put it at 0. And over there, let's go ahead and run it. See if it fills up 100 gallons.
close, really, really close. So, a hundred gallons is uh, about, it takes 13 seconds, about 13 seconds right over here, 13.5, 13.5, 90, that was pretty, pretty close. And then let's discharge it and see what, how, what happened. Let's see, actually, let me, uh, let's, let's take a close, closer look from another angle to see how close we were. Well, 95, close to 100. Cool, good. Remember, this is just a timer. This is not a, an analog a variable sensing the uh, continuously sensing the level of the of the tank. So let's go ahead and discharge it. Good. All right, guys. This is it. Uh, thank you uh, for for watching this video and um, uh, the code. Uh, let me see if I can blow it up a little bit so you can see the code. All right. Let me disconnect to it. And let me the, uh, on disconnect from the factory I/O. So this is the code. I'm gonna just uh, uh, glance through it. So you can copy it on your computer. Maybe you want to run it and simulate it on your, your own. See what happened. Very simple. This is for my empty. And this is for my filling. All right. Good. All right. Next time I'm going to do the, uh, which one is next? Let me see. Let me go to the scene. We already done this one, this one, this one. Okay, we gotta do this one. So next time it's gonna be queue of items. No idea about how that works, but it shouldn't be any not much difficult than the other one we did because it looks pretty pretty close to this other one over here that we did from A to B, set and reset. All right, guys. Thank you very much for uh, your time. Talk to you later. Bye bye.